Well, California Congressman Ed Royce is on the House Foreign Affairs Committee and the chairman of the Terrorism Subcommittee. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Heather. Should Gitmo be closed? Well, it should not be closed, and I can just give you a couple of examples. Uh, you know, you, you see these reports that the people held in Guantanamo, you know, they, they say, well, I was a former cook or a former truck driver. Uh, once they are released, uh, like Abdullah Mahmoud, you suddenly find out you're dealing with a very different personality. You're dealing with a commander out in the field who is, again, firing on our infantry. Um, he, was, uh, he was subsequently killed uh, in combat with U.S. forces. Uh, we also find that some that have been released have ended up in Yemen as deputy commanders there trying to overthrow the government. And so our past experience uh, is that whatever the Government Accountability Office might tell us, whatever the accountants might tell us about uh, the safety with which we could transfer these individuals to the United States and maybe try them here in a prison and hold them here, these are in fact very well trained in many cases al-Qaeda uh, senior operatives uh, who uh, would not like nothing more than a, a platform here in the United States in order to uh, carry out uh, their messaging. And, and so then this question, there are currently 166 detainees at the facility and to right. further quote uh, Senator Graham there, he says, you know, these are folks that don't want to steal your car, as you were just saying, they don't want to break into your home. And do you believe, as he has said, that leaders on Capitol Hill have forgotten what 9-11 was about? Well, I think uh, from the beginning, uh, the Obama administration has attempted to close Guantanamo Bay. And as you remember, they attempted uh, with the prison in, in Tom Thompson, Illinois, to close Guantanamo and move the detainees there and ended up with opposition uh, from the Senate and the House. Now, this, this vote, of course, was, as you pointed out, 54 to 41. So you can see that the administration is trying to gain momentum, but they're still not there yet. They've released this government accountability report in order to try to build additional support for their effort to cl close Guantanamo. But again, people are saying, well, these aren't intelligence analysts that, uh, <laughs> that are releasing this report. And I think the memory of 9-11 is still fresh enough. And um, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, people like this uh, who have been so um, explicit in terms of what they would like to do to the United States, I, I think those memories are still well enough uh, um, well enough understood by the American public that there's going to be continued opposition to the administration's attempts here, regardless of their efforts to build support in the Senate. For yeah. this, I want to ask you move. a little bit more about Thompson, <laughs> Illinois specifically, and the plans back right. in 2009, you mentioned to retrofit it right. to host military trials and, and house at that time up to 100 um, terror suspects. Uh, or terror suspects held at Guantanamo specifically. Now, at the time, Republicans, they objected, saying that a congressional vote would be required before detainees not facing trial can be indefinitely held on U.S. soil. But the issue, it came up again in October, and that's when the Justice Department, Justice passed, passed October, announced plans to buy the same prison from Illinois for $165 million. Attorney General Eric Holder, to be fair, he said in a letter to you, I presume, and other lawmakers, that the prison would not be used for Guantanamo detainees. But do you think that could, in fact, happen? Well, that's what our Attorney General Eric Holder is saying right now. But in as much as we just had a vote this week in the Senate, uh, and although we had 54 senators on our side out of 100 in this debate, uh, clearly, clearly this is an ongoing effort uh, to try to change the lay of the land. And the president, uh, although not speaking of this issue uh, during this campaign, although he did in the past presidential election, uh, now they're beginning again to start this effort. The administration is beginning this effort to try to close Guantanamo. So yes, we are uh, apprehensive about their designs. Um, when you request reports like this one from the General uh, Accountability Office, the GAO, and you begin to wave that around and say, well, here's the justification for clo clo uh, closing Guantanamo. It is not going to be dangerous to do so. Uh, <laughs> again, 
uh, it, it calls into question the long-term motive here because I don't think the administration really fully comprehends all that would be involved, not just in cost-wise, cost but also giving that platform to those who are most focused on trying to destroy, you know, our system. And our way uh, of Giving al-Qaeda that platform. All right. Congress uh, so, so that's why we are so opposed to this. All right. Congressman Royce, thank you so much for joining us with your insight. Thank we you. appreciate it today. Thank you.